were really offended by the choreography. It's very vulgar. Uh, it uh, looks like it's pretty much imitating strippers, and they have uh, music by Lady Gaga and Madonna, which if you're familiar with any of their, uh, let's just say their role-playing or their lyrics, it's not uh, wholesome entertainment. Uh, it's, it's a far far stretch from anything that you would want your child singing in a school musical or school so you, class. So you've got choreography as well as lyrics in the That's songs right. that are sexually provocative, sexually explicit. And yet the idea here is this supposed to be some kind of high school music club right. getting ready to put on theatrical uh, productions. Right. And, uh, you know, and, and this, this came up when I talked to the, the had the debate at Fox uh, Houston affiliate that it aired on 7 o'clock. I mean, that's right in, in the heart of what's supposed to be family-friendly viewing time. That's what you would think. <laughs> so, that's right. And there's a lot of other content, though, Brian, that is just really uh, offensive and inappropriate. When you have mockery of Christianity, uh, there's mockery of the Katrina victims. And then we also had, um, you know, three individuals going on dates, insinuating threesome, and, and then you have uh, the homosexual couples on the show. Uh, with, um, I mean, there's kissing on the show with uh, same-sex couples, and they also have um, made several homosexual references in the show uh, that we, we feel like that, you know, even though kids may not be seeing this, this uh, parents are not... Uh, oblivious to what is going on. There is not a hidden agenda. It's, to me, very blatantly obvious what they are portraying as a normal lifestyle for a teenager. Mm -hmm. 